We did get married in November. We did. <laughs> We've been married for four months. Baby, take me away. Y'all have found the sort of unconditional love that people dream of. I'm so proud of everything you've both accomplished. Madison, myself, and Evan really wanted Ryan to know how proud of him we were, so we planned a dinner celebration for him. Madison decided she would go out in her currently flaccid T-Rex costume <laughs> and freestyle rap to Ryan about how proud of him she was. She always said, you know, she would never get married. She didn't believe in marriage. Madison wasn't that girl. And for her to find Ryan and to find the perfect person that matches her is the best gift ever for me and David. Take me away, Guys, I have to tell you that from the time that Ryan was very young, your mom and I prayed for just the right lady that God was preparing to come together with our oldest son. We believe that's happened. Where's she at? And we are thrilled. <laughs> we are thrilled to be able to share this time and this day together today. I want to be with you, 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 baby. I want to be with you, 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 hey. I want to be with you, 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 hey. I want to be with you, 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 hey. I'm going to trip. Hey. 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 I wanted someone I could talk to about anything and everything. Someone intellectual who thought about the world and the things in it like I do. I wanted someone who simply just got me. And I wanted a best friend. Someone who would hold my hand when I'm scared. Someone who would hold me and lift me back up when I'm down. To make me smile just by being around. And all of those things I found in you. You are what I always dreamed I would never find. A soulmate and a best friend. <laughs> I promise to respect your heart, its needs, and feelings. I promise to always support you. I promise to continue to respect your sobriety and stand with you if times get tough. I promise to love you deeply, intentionally, and desperately until the day that I die. I promise to always be the shoulder you lean on for days where the sun doesn't shine and stay by your side until it does. Ryan, I adore and admire you. Beyond words that could fill infinite pages, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for everything you are now and will be. And I'm proud to now publicly call you my Who's Bond. Ryan, um, I've waited 25 years to finally have a brother. I'm so glad you're with Madison. You fit perfectly into our family. You're, you're weird. <laughs> You like sports, and most importantly, you make Madison so happy, and I see it every single day. I love you both, and cheers to a happy marriage. Madison, all the traditional wedding vows, you've already gone above and beyond. You've been there through some of the most joyful moments of my life, and also some of the most trying. As for my new husbandly responsibilities, I promise to do the dishes even when you leave your cereal bowl in there with milk until the flakes dry up against the side of the bowl and it takes 10 minutes to rehydrate them to get those bowls in the dishwasher. I don't promise to tell you I love you every day. I promise to show you. I don't promise to merely love you. I promise to cherish you. I was blessed to have two of the most wonderful parents anybody could ever ask for. My mom would be so proud of me. <laughs> and of us. And not only that, she would be so incredibly happy that my life and all of its twists and turns and all of the ups and downs led me to you. My dad said something during mom's memorial service that really struck me and, and touched me very deeply. He said, Find someone in your life who you don't merely love and someone who you don't merely cherish. But find someone to serve and to do so joyfully. 
I promise to joyfully serve you for the rest of our lives. I love you, and I am so proud and so eternally grateful to call you my wife. Hey, Dad. Can I turn? Father! <laughs> Daughter. Look at me. Oh my God, look at you. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. You're beautiful. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> I never see you that happy. <laughs> I never thought I'd see this day. I know, me neither. <laughs> Finally, I would encourage you to hold fast to the main thing, and that is that, that sometimes commitment happens in spite of not really feeling in love that day. Continue to remember that it's about delighting in who the other person is and your long trek together. You may kiss each other. <laughs> Welcome to our reception. We got married in November uh, and then didn't tell anybody about that. Sorry. It is so incredible to have such a village around us to support us in, in this weekend when we have more important things to focus on like each other. And you guys made that so easy. Thank you all just from the bottom of our hearts. I'm gonna just mirror what he said. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're gonna we're gonna do some dancing. I'm on top of the world. <laughs>